Welcome back. You're listening to the event Santa Cruz radio show on KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. And I am here with Taylor Reinhold. How are you doing, Taylor? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. So you have like a plethora of stuff going on in your life here. Um, why I originally you know, got connected with you is you became or you, you were nominated and then um, we're going to receive the 2020 Nexties um, Artist of the Year. So congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. That is super cool. That's happening March 20th at Hotel Paradox. Um, find all the information at eventsantacruz.com. Uh, I think why, well, you have, you have many nominations, but a lot of it is because of your mural work that you've done. Um, how did that start? How, how did you get into the world of, of making these huge murals? I know the first one I saw was at Plantronics. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I saw Swan Dive Media did a video of it. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know who you were at the time. That was my first, um, which was amazing. I love that. The koi, kind of the koi, because it actually is a koi pond, and you kind of put that on the wall. But, yeah, so how did you get into the, the world of murals? Um, it started about 10 years ago, and I was uh, I was always influenced by art at a young age. My mom's an artist. Um, Annie Glass. Annie. And yeah. so I grew up in a glass studio. And they were always pushing me to paint and draw and kind of be creative. There was no, like, you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer. You're nice. was like, you know. <laughs> you're going to yeah, be an artist. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. My dad was a farmer surfer and my mom was an artist. So um, I had a really open canvas at a young age. And cool. um, just got really into painting in high school. Um, I had a really awesome paint teacher, Katie Harper. She pushed me really hard. Um, and then I came back to... Santa Cruz in the recession in 2009 from college and there was like no jobs there was nothing that my colleagues or friends were getting into at the time yeah um, and I got a silk screening press and put it in my garage and started making t-shirts and then inviting my friends over that were artists that inspired me to create t-shirts and art and kind of started made fresh crew which was just like a group of friends that were just creating together okay um, wait so what is fresh crew is uh, that like is it, it's like a collective of just your friends yeah made fresh crew is a, a network of artists um, like-minded people and we create all types of different projects together from mural community mural projects um, releasing limited does uh, limited graphic design runs t-shirts posters um, we've done all types of events and art shows and we just have a ton of fun that's cool um, and we're located on 17th Avenue we have a shop called natural motions creations where we host events and we've got embroidery, silk screening, stickers, things like that. So if people, if they have something that they want embroidered or they need stickers, they could come to you. Yeah, logos, yeah. graphics, we yeah. do branding, we do all kinds of fun stuff. Cool. Um, so, and, and this is, I'm sorry for the maybe the stupid question, but how does a mural actually get on the wall? Like, you know, I mean, like you have a painting I and mean, you're sitting there, you paint or you draw like in front of you, but how do you escalate that? to a wall. Is it done by grids or is it free-handed? Like, how do you actually do that? There's all types of different ways to do it. Um, grids, freehand, projecting. Oh yeah, projecting. Um, yeah. There's tons of tools of the trade that people use. It's a lot harder to actually get like the acceptance to do a mural than the <laughs> That's actual the mural itself. <laughs> That's, itself. That's like the hardest part is doing that dance. It's um, just once getting we the wall. Yeah. get to paint that's like the fun spot you know that's when that's when all well that's when you like that's what you enjoy doing yeah yeah, yeah. the rest of it's just business yeah yeah the rest of it's just <laughs> jumping through red tape and hoops and seeing who you can uh convince to let you paint their wall is it red tape I mean, okay so you have to like what are the legalities of it if someone owns the 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 business they own the house is there any le like is there city ordinances or something they can't do it? There are city ordinances. Usually private property is, is, is okay. pretty okay. You yeah. can kind of get away with more. Um, if you're downtown or you've got a really visible wall, usually they'll have a neighborhood meeting, so you kind of show the sketch. Um, yeah. If it's a high-profile wall, they will definitely have to go through the city and, and submit sketches. And then uh, for big projects, you got to get permits, business license, liability. Have you had to do that? Have you had to like go to city council meetings or those like neighborhood meetings and show them? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, that's multiple funny. times. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> call stressful. The, call the police and let them know that we're going to be sp spray painting at night and not to arrest us. Oh yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you do murals, but there's um, this organization. Can you tell us a little bit about? I mean, basically, it, it 
leads up to this event happening in June, but you're, you do murals on a more larger scale with other groups. What, what's going on with that? Um, yeah, so through the Mission Street project that we did, uh, which was Bayview Elementary, um, I spent two and a half years with the city writing grants, um, working with the County of Education, and then fundraising. Um, we, got fund we got funded through multiple grants um, through the city and the school district, and then we spent about a year fundraising on our GoFundMe, which got like over 1,400 contributions from the community wow. and made the project possible. Um, and the piece was about keeping plastic pollution out of the Monterey Bay, working with the students at the school. Um, Is that the one on Mission Street? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's really Mission. long. Yeah. Yeah, it's about 600 feet long. Yeah. Um, and so that, through that project, um, I've been following Seawalls and Pangea Seed organization for uh, maybe five, six years now. Mm -hmm. And they've been around for about 10 years. Um, and it's kind of the, basically the biggest and baddest, you know, artist around that, um, paint murals all around the world. And so the city told me they're, you know, Trey Packard, the founder is going to be at Patagonia, you know, for this film showing tonight. And I'm like, what the, the, that guy's here in town. What is he doing? You know? So I rushed down there with my portfolio, gave it to him. Uh, we kept in touch about a year later, he, you know, asked me if I wanted to be the art director for a Santa Cruz Seawalls project. Um, so they've done over 400 murals worldwide all on environmental issues about the oceans, and they work with artists like myself and have coined the term artivist, which is an art activist. Yeah, I saw that. Working within a community um, and creating these public art projects about, you know, uh, sustainability. And so um, June from, we're looking at tentatively right now, June 6th to the 13th, uh, we're going to be bringing 15 international muralists from around the world into Santa Cruz, and we're going to be offering free murals to local businesses. Um, all the pieces will be site specific on local environmental issues that we face here in the Monterey Bay. Um, super excited about it, but there's a ton of work that's been going into just uh, fundraising, working on um, housing the artists, partnering with restaurants to feed the artists during the day, finding the equipment, mm -hmm. rentals, scissor yeah. lifts, scaffolding, boom lifts, um, you name it. So finding the actual wall. So ha 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 you, have you narrowed down some of the walls already? I have. I've just been going door to door and just <laughs> wall hunting is what I call it. So I've just been knocking down on, you know, hey, would you like a free mural from one of the best artists from around the world? And, you know, people are either saying yes or no. But um, you've got some yeses so we've far. We've got a lot of yeses, which has been really awesome. Yeah. Um, and so we're kind of got our eyes set on the bigger, the better for that for that wall. We really want the, the project to be um, impacting when people come drive through the community that week. There's just going to be walls getting painted up all through the town. That is going to be amazing. So what is, we talked about it right before. What is like the the whale of the wall? What is like the the wall that you've been looking at? Like you know what? <laughs> I want that one. <laughs> There's a few. Um, definitely some of the ones downtown. Uh, the Del Mar, unfortunately, is a historical building, like most of the biggest buildings downtown, because they didn't fall during the earthquakes. So. It's owned by the city, isn't it? It's owned thing? by the city. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of, you know, there's a lot you have to get through to. Yeah be able to paint something like that it already has an existing mural um the dream in the side of the dream in that seven yeah. story wall it's another big one we've been uh have you talked to, to them? we've been talking to them right yeah. now so we're we're kind of looking at potentially hoping to wrap a couple of murals throughout that beach street area and we have a couple of hubs so um we have like a little hub in capitola four or five artists painting some murals and then we'll have a couple in the midtown and then a couple on the west side kind of during in around the industrial area of the west side is kind of booming right now and then hopefully a few downtown so um you know as that progresses we'll be you know hopefully getting more and more walls sanctioned in the next month here right before the event um but i'm super excited to, to bring it to santa cruz it'll be the first of its kind so where where do we go online where do we find out more information if somebody wants to you know they're a restaurant that wants to help feed them if they want to you know help i don't know deliver a ladder <laughs> um <laughs> yeah if they have that wall like you know, Darren and Dan from Dream In, and they're like, I know we talked to you, but you need the extra push. Now, um, where do they find you? <laughs> um, they can email me directly at taylor at pangeaseed.org, um, or they can connect with me on Facebook, which my Facebook is Tay Lion. Um, otherwise, they can go directly to pangeaseed.org um, and connect with Trey Packard or Akira, the founders, um, and everything will be relayed back to me. 
Okay. Um, we'll be hosting a bunch of events leading up, fundraisers, art shows, um, leading up to the project. And, um, you know, everything helps. Any little contribution helps. Great. Okay. So I'll put all that information um, under the, the video here. This, um, If you missed any part of this interview, it will be at eventsantacruz.com um, later in the week. And, um, hey, Taylor, thank you so much for coming on. I, just, I cannot wait for this mural. I can't wait or the murals. I can't wait to see you March 20th while you accept the award for Artist of the Year at the Nexties. And um, go, hope to see you soon at your print shop. Thank you.